Hey folks, and welcome back to uh, Sunless Sea. So we just got home, and um, <clears throat> we need to do something about our terror. So I think we're gonna visit the um, whoever this is, <laughs> and let's see. This will increase your mirror by two permanently and cure up twenty-five. This will reduce zero to reduce terror to zero only once. The gambits. Let's see what are our current stats. Our iron is pretty high. Pages, heart, mirror, veil, and iron. Would be nice to increase it to sixty just to be get an even number. Or increase our mirrors maybe if we can up to thirty. No? Pages, hearts... Yeah, there we go. Mirror. Okay, well, yeah. Let's do that. The Unflinching Eye. Let's go with that one. The Gold Needle Pricks. Lily Shadowmon hums. At the end of the process, the tattoo's gaze is so expressive you almost expect it to blink. You're almost hesitant to look at it. Your own arm in the eye. <laughs> you lost one member of a distant shore. Blah blah blah. Nice. So now our terror is only at 25. And let's do the usual stuff. Let's go and sell off. Oh, right. We do have some vital intelligence. Let's sell this off. Enthusiastic nods. I'm glad you brought this to me. I have a colleague of sort, a diplomat, so called. I will tell you I will tell you because I trust you. The diplomat will pay better, but I will put the information to better use. He leans forward. There are powers in this world that I cannot speak of. There are affairs of the navy I am not proud of. Bring me more information like this and we can see matters rights. Guy, you have gained 350 echoes. You have gained one favor. And uh, we can even ask for fuel. That's interesting. But we're not going to do that. It's a waste of good favors. I'd l much rather you keep using them to repair our hull. Pass on strategic information. You have gained 150 echoes. And let's see, speaker of the Moo in the green game. Sure, let's do that as well and gain another 30 echoes. And let's see, where do we need to go next? Ask if there's anything particular he needs. And we need to go to Frostfound. Isn't that the castle? I think. And the port reports, as usual. One fuel, two fuel, no, okay, no two fuel. Two fuel, three fuel, four fuel, and so on. Okay, that's nice. Now we have five fuel, and I do want to have at least 20 with me this time, and uh, I think uh, at least 10 supplies. The Varocious Diplomats. The, Varoche, the Diplomat lairs near uh, Mansion Spire in a second floor office above a gymnasium for pugilistic ladies and gentlemen. Your conversation is punctuated by distant shout and blows. The Diplomat sm smiles fondly at the sound. Pick up an agent. An agent will allow you to establish an intelligence network and sometimes to grow it later. Interesting. Very interesting. What kind of diplomacy is involved? A cat's a catly grin. The kind of 
diplomacy that doesn't get written down. I'm attracted to the Admiralty, not the foreign affairs. No, I'm attached to the Admiralty. Okay. London is not what it was, but she will she still has interests abroad. I look after them as best I can. I do hope you're patriotic enough not to ask for any more details. Okay, that's well you can come along. A name and address. Both are probably temporary, but they're they're all you need. Okay. So what now? Do they work closely together? Well now, the Admiral is a man of principle, very straightforward, very traditional in his view. I think it's rather courageous of him to expect the Navy to operate without outside assistance. And he has excellent taste in both chamber music and wine. I hope that makes my feelings clear. Okay. Well, I don't really know what else to do here. Okay, well, as usual, let's visit uh, the... Um, oh, right, we have to deliver the claimant. Let's do that. One, another 120 echoes. And carouse at the Wolfstack docks. See if we can lower the uh, terror a bit more. You were fortunate, you lost 5 terror. Awesome. You now have one recent news. Night in Wolfstack you find yourself sharing table with a likely lass. She tipsily claims to be a spy. Whatever she is, she's easy to like. And when the evening ends, you're still together. Or a dapper, dapper chap. An elegant fellow with presbyterian tiny accent and an unexpectedly diligent laugh. Delighted laugh. By the evening's end it seems natural that he should accompany you home. Someone who, whose name you do not afterward recall. Your only love is for the sea. You'll take comfort where you find it, but that's all it is. Hmm. Well, let's try to engage in a romance another time. You lost two terror, a relaxing evening. Together you exercise the chill of the neath. When you wake, you're alone, but that's how you're always preferred it. See any new recruits? Brisk is a st skilled doctor. Do we have a doctor? Chief engineer, cook, and a gunnery. But we do not have a, a skilled doctor. Oi, you. You need a real physician. None of your surgeons. Okay, well, we'll take you. <laughs> hmm, don't you have anywhere cleaner? Well... If I must do it myself, where can I find a mop? Oh, so we even got a cleaner with us. <laughs> Two in a price for one. Well, that's nice. And you go over here. Let's see, do you have any quest for me? No? Okay. Let's see, anything else? Oh right, Should, I think we're supposed to, uh, well not supposed to, but we can get the Iron Will, or have we already gotten that? No, we haven't. Okay, let's, let's use this. Baseborn and Fowling Piece. The lawyer appears at you like a vulture composed of crocodiles. Okay. Come now, she creaks. There's a few years in you yet, but your caution does your credit. Sign here. No, no. Ink is fine. This isn't the brass embassy. Okay, well, that's nice. And you lost 100 records. That's fine, too. 
Okay, so let's repair our ship. Um, there we go. And visit the shops, get some more fuel. And 10 supplies. And I don't think there is anything else. Hmm, deck weapon. But no, let's ignore that. And what's this? Forward weapon. Equipped at aft. Okay, we don't have that slot. Secure compartment. We don't have an aft. Maybe we should try getting some better engines. Just for fun and see. Nah. I don't want to do uh, risk it because I don't know how fast the uh, fuel will drop if we use it. So it's gonna have to wait for another time when we have a better ship. Okay, so let's head out and. See, I think we're gonna do like we did last time, head south and pass the ports along the way and then try to discover more areas. And hopefully we won't nearly, nearly get stuck out in nowhere because our fuel is gone. But we should be fine this time, I hope. Okay, so let's move out. And as expected, the Iron Republic, Republic is where it was the last time as well. Just along the coast. So I think only islands move around, but not the coasts, which is good. Okay, so let's have a quick look around and then just leave. Because this is a very, very weird place. A gunnery, we already have a gunnery. Do they need shore leave this badly? Probably will increase... Probably this will increase your terror, perhaps something else horrible will happen. Yeah, let's not do that. Market of hunger. Market of hunger. This will ins this will inspire on sigil. It is a parody of the bazaar today. Filled with flies will fill the arcade. Buzz buzz. Well, let's compile the port reports. What? New possession. The sensation of the public republic are overwhelming. This is the is a desire of you of years. This is a desire for years. This is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you now you are awash with a nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down, write it all down, perhaps you'll be rid of it. You have lost two hearts. The Parliament of Flies is open for visit business. You have gained one tale of terror. You have gained one member of a distant shore. But why did I lose two hearts? Ah, fine. Let's um, check the market of hungers. You gained one terror. This is the shop tab. Okay. 
Romantic literature. Fuel by four eights. Okay, let's buy some more fuel while we're here while we are here. And parabola linen. Don't know I know I think we can buy and sell these at London, but I don't don't remember the price for them. Okay, so let's just leave. This is a too weird of a place. So yeah, I've been to uh, the Canal and Quakers Island and we'll start going east as usual. Let's see where we end up. Oh, port. Port, 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 port. Saints Haven. Don't think I've been here before. Or maybe I have. Not sure. Two houses, both alike in dignity. Okay. On a lonely, desert. To the beach, there is no habitants in sight, no market, only an old rotting dock. A stretch of sand thickens into damp black earth from which sprout hunted palms. Not quite. Tall fungal growth with frond-like caps as if someone had sculpted the idea of a tree from mushroom. Okay. Disembark, see what awaits you. Progress of a nation. Oh, so... Is... Might this be the place where we set up our own kingdom later on? War? As you step on the... On the quay, You hear clamor, shouts and shooting. You can see off in the distance smoke rising from the, beyond the hill. And dots of fire fleck... Flecking the horizon, two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving as if awaiting your, uh, awaiting your approach. The following is an extract from the popular dare, diary of a sea captain from London of, to Irene and what we did there before we arrived, washed ashore on Martin Island. They subsequently serialized in the unexpurged gazettes. The author's identity remains unknown. The tale of Pigment Isle, in which a delegation is made, a choice is present, war is declared, a most singular treasure is sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. Okay, so this is just a lot of text. If you want to read it, you're gonna have to read it yourself. From the looks of it, though, we are talking with rats. I uh, spoke to the chief engineer, I spoke to the Sen skull. I he had heard more than enough. Okay, let's talk with the chief engineer. And as I as before, if you want to read it, pause the video. And the pig. Again, if you want to read it, pause. Okay, so you have the pigs that want to conquer the rats and make them into slaves and you have the rats who came here from London to ma make a place for themselves and they just want to be free maybe we can try to 
broker a piece. But now nah, let's let's side with the rats. I mean, you can always trust a rat, right? A friend to rats. I extended a finger to the chief engineer, who shook it grimly. The seneschal hissed and shattered her teeth in disgust, but kept her distance. You made the right choice, said the chief engineer. Let me show you around. You gain one fuel and one supply. Nice. Ah, uh, so much text. Again, if you want to read it, pause. I do find this place rather interesting, though. The rats seem interesting. Okay, let's try to visit the... Uh, Let's visit the beach. And again, if you want to read it, pause the video. And the rat star. Let's take a look, closer look at that. Huh, so the star is actually Sintelac? Interesting. We're looking for that. And the barracks. Rats. Okay, so the rats are outnumbered and they are outgunned compared to the what I think is pigs. It's unfortunate. The bells of the war council rang. I was summoned. The chief engineer emerged from underground with a mostly assortment of other rats. He introduced them as weapon experts, strategists, and field commanders. So you're going to help us beat the cavies. KVs, he said, a hard edge to his voice. But how exactly? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Yes, click the button and end up up here. I had nothing to offer but my advice. The king took it in desperation, if not gratitude. I determined to take the lead. I had a ship, I had cannons. We would steer her to the southern side of the island and have those up-pits, up-pitty animals. Okay, well, it's 91% chance of success. Sure, let's do that. A success. Awesome. Hail Muri Murinia. I think that's the island's name, or the Republic's name. A palpable hit? The rats gave me what information they possessed about the cave sediments, but I still had to improvise a great deal on the spot. A perfect storm of speed, stealth and strength in arms favored us, our cannons letting fly a volley of shot onto the beach before the cavies could scramble into onto their grounded ship to man its gun. Screams and squeals filled the air. The enemy fled. A damp hush settled over my crew as the smoke cleared to reveal the torn bloodshed bodies of green greeny pigs littering the shore. A grim business, but I had honored my commitment to the rats and found a wealth of scintillac ringing the, the beach to harvest a spoil. Awesome, we do need that. Uh, let's see, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, you have now three Sintelec. I wouldn't really call that a wealth of Sintelec, but okay, sure, I'll take it. I think I only need one, actually, for the Widow. A nation is born. The house of Cave had fallen, Murinia was triumphant. All that remains were the celebration and the continuation of our voyage. Oh, how we feasted long into the night. Then, I invited one of the rats' favor to join us. After all, what's a ship without a few rats? And... Uh, no. I interceded on behalf of the cavies. They were crushed, defeated, and I could see their spirits broken without the lights. Of the rat star to guide them, they needed to advocate. 
the Y Dog C beckons. We had eaten our fill and our business was concluded. It was time to continue our voyage and see what other wonders and terrors still await us. Yep, time to go. The end. There, you finish your diary entry and the final dregs of the rat's surprisingly good wine. They line up to salute you as you leave the victory banquets, escorting you to the, your ship through the foundations of their new republic. Your hunger quality has gone, a new nation has been founded. Interesting. And with that, I will end the episode here. I'm just going to check if there's anything else. No. Okay, good. So yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't, and a comment down below. And if you want to see more daily content here from me, then please do subscribe. And I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.